Due to Congressman Trey Gowdy's decision not to run again for Congress, the 4th District of South Carolina is open and will likely be taken by another Republican. 13 Republicans are in the race, but one is standing out after an endorsement from U.S. Senator Marco Rubio. Marco Rubio recently wrote on Twitter that he is excited to endorse William Timmons in the June 12th GOP primary. William is a good friend, strong conservative, and committed reformer who understands America's greatest challenges. He is a next generation conservative leader. Marco Rubio is a senator from Florida who proudly announced his support for the globalist backed Trans Pacific Partnership while at a Council on Foreign Relations event in 2015. He was the first presidential candidate offered the opportunity to speak at the Council on Foreign Relations during the last presidential election cycle. I don't think it's far fetched to say that Marco Rubio was the darling of the Council on Foreign Relations during the last presidential election. Those who have studied the Council on Foreign Relations, also known as the CFR, understand the group as a front group for the deep state and a group that helps lead Americans to completing the plans for a new world order. William Timmons is not a member of the Council on Foreign Relations, and neither is Marco Rubio, but the Council has its control over politicians all across the United States. How can it be that William Timmons is connected and may be controlled by the Council on Foreign Relations? Look no further than the U.S. Global Leadership Coalition, which has 58 advisory council members, of which over 30 are members of the Council on Foreign Relations. Advisory council members include popular criminal globalists like Hillary Clinton, Madeleine Albright, Henry Kissinger, John Kerry, Joe Lieberman, Condoleezza Rice, and Robert Zolik. The U.S. Global Leadership Coalition has committees in each of the states that make up the United States. The South Carolina Advisory Committee is co-chaired by globalists Richard Riley and David Wilkins and the only member of the South Carolina Advisory Committee that is running for office in the 4th Congressional District is, you guessed it, William Timmons. I encourage all viewers of this video to get a better understanding of the Council on Foreign Relations by reading the article by Alex Newman titled, Deep State <coughs> Behind the Deep State, CFR, Trilaterals, Bilderbergs, which can be found by going to www.thenewamerican.com. In the article, Alex Newman delivers the facts on how the Council on Foreign Relations is run by establishment mega bankers that want to destroy American sovereignty and create a one world government. George W. Bush's Vice President Dick Cheney, for example, was filmed on video bragging, I've been a member of the CFR for a long time and was actually a director for some period of time. I never mentioned that when I was campaigning for re-election back home in Wyoming. William Timmons has told me personally on Facebook that he refuses to resign from the South Carolina Advisory Committee for the U.S. Global Leadership Coalition. Shortly after telling me that he, this, he posted about his endorsement from CFR darling Marco Rubio. I'm Evan Mulch, and I'm a field coordinator for the John Birch Society. If you like what you've learned in this video, please visit our website, www.jbs.org. My contact information is available at the end of this video, and all viewers are welcome to contact me. God bless all of you, and may you deliver this truth to others so that the deep state continues to get exposed.